Hey guys! Hi! Welcome to the vlog! You get to do it today. Have you ever done a welcome to the vlog before? No. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. 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 Now I'm out of breath. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Vlog. 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 This is. <laughs> This is gonna be a mega vlog, guys. Uh, we're gonna be shooting footage all weekend long, maybe even some on Monday. It's see, gonna be so awesome. You might not even see any of this till Tuesday and the weekend's over, but guess what? We're still partying. Oh, slow motion time. Oh. Oh. Let it rain. And believe it or not, all we've had today is high C orange. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. You just so, wait. Memorial weekend. We're not gonna forget what Memorial weekend's about. No. But we are also gonna celebrate on the water. And we're inviting you to come with us. Yeah, we're good. And we're good. Here comes Carrie. Woo! Welcome to the vlog. Vlog, vlog, vlog. So, Carrie and I are staying in a tent and you guys are gonna get to watch us try and put the tent up. Oh. And by us, oh. we mean Rachel. And Carrie. And Carrie. Mm -hmm. And Carrie. Tent masters. Mm -hmm. So here we go. The tent is up. We got the tent up. Look at that. When I say we, I mean I, I did some, but not not a lot. Wunderbar. Yay! What time it is? Your time? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> the least yours opens like that. Oh wow. <laughs> the corner's so jank. So now it's not rocky. <laughs> we got to figure out how to get this bed blown up. Because it comes with a cot. Well, the blowing up part's not bad. <sighs> Sexy air bed. Ooh, pumpsies. Pumps. Ooh, did it come with a battery? Does it just electrically plug in, or is it battery? Ah, shoot. I don't know. You kids and your damn battery operated things. Yeah, you just need a battery. No, we don't. Do we really? They won't understand. Hi guys, like, we're at the cabin, and Carrie is really far away from me. Check her out. Look at that. She's way over there. Hi. All that stuff just amazes me. But look, now we got Grams. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, and there's Ray. Eat your heart out, ladies. Eat your hearts out, ladies. Eat your. It doesn't matter. Don't eat your hearts. <laughs> or do. Or do. If that's your. If that's what you want to do. Yeah. Are you in on this kid? Yeah, All right. Sure. Here's our friend Deanna. Look at her tattoo. Look at that. Oh, I got a little burn. There we go. Yeah. This is the lake. This is Graham's cabin. She's nice enough to allow us to come up and hang out. Or we just show up and she doesn't tell us to leave. One of the two. <laughs> She's too Lots of places to, to sit. Out. Lots of coolers filled with soda and water. And water. Snacks. In a beautiful lake. Oh man, Snacks. you guys. Wait till you see this thing at night. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You do not know what you're missing unless you live on a lake or you have access to a lake. Then you obviously know. Yeah. For those of you who don't, if you can get out to a body of water this weekend, you should do it because it's beautiful. No, their voice will be on there too? Yes. Oh, it's my. beautiful. You are just the cutest. Oh, I know. So the ice cream man comes to the lake. <laughs> I finally got a strawberry shortcake ice cream bar. What do you got? A chip witch. A chip witch. 
Rachel's got a chip witch. Chip witch. Okay, <laughs> let's see what Britter has. A rocket pop. I can't really see your face. Let me turn to the side. Rocket pop. Uh oh. What's Deanna got? A bomb pop. Man, you look really good. Really? Are you married? A little bit. She's a little married, folks. She's a little married. You said you were gonna put in the Love you, Randy. Rocket pop. They haven't come around here for years. I never left her about. Mm. You saying rocket pop? Rocket pop! Oh, your teeth look great with all the chocolate <laughs> in it. Anyway, Carrie also got one of these, but I originally asked her if I could get a snow cone because I have desperately wanted a snow cone for a long time. So she came in the house with her hand behind her back, and I knew it had to be something really good. I honestly thought it was a chip witch because I saw Rachel with it. She knows I love those too. You know what too. else they had? What? You're gonna be real mad. I know. Taco me. tacos. No! What? <laughs> yeah. Why didn't we get one? I didn't know you would want one. It was a tough call. Also, the ice cream prices have gone up significantly. Yeah. How much was this bar? Two dollars. Ooh. All right, so if you guys haven't heard of this, basically, it's got like this strawberry, like crumb on the outside, okay? So let me get you a good view here of it for those of you who've never had one. Okay, now, you bite into it. Oh my god. Oh. Strawberry ice cream inside. Mm. It is literally heaven in my mouth right now. Yeah. I'm really glad that you enjoy it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You can have the other one in the freezer if you want it. No, just one. You are too good to me, but just one is fine. Want a bite? I would just like her to How sit is it? there all day for unlimited That's ice cream. Really That's really good. Yes, two ladies. That's just like I remember. So we are, you know, we are really enjoying ourselves up here at the mm -hmm. lake. It's amazing to be up here. It's a little warm. We're definitely enjoying the, it's a little crooked here. Sorry. We're definitely enjoying the, like, nice weather because it might be cold tomorrow. It might be. Yeah, not looking forward to that, but oh well. A little nervous to sleep on the old cot tonight. A little bit nervous, yeah, because the air mattress didn't seem like it took in a lot of air. It kind of, like, stopped filling it up. Yeah, but I think once we lay on it, we'll be fine. I hope so. If too full anyways, then all the air is going to go to the middle and then we're going to roll off. Mm. Yeah. This is the greatest day of my life. I know, right? It's amazing what a little ice cream does to the soul. <laughs> I asked my mother. It's her soul thing. For yes. Her. She makes meals out of it. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah, why not? Mm. <sighs> this is good. All right, folks. We are here at the World Championship of Yucca. To my right, got Deanna. She claims victory. Why is she panicking? And she. <laughs> I love you. I didn't mean to mess up the euchre. Why so. are you Panama Jack? <laughs> um, she likes combos. Combos? Ooh. Next we have Brittany. Hello. <laughs> Brittany likes to take her euchre with a slice of cheese. I do. It doesn't matter what kind, she just likes it. Mm -hmm. And then we got Babo. Babo's from the land down under. <laughs> he doesn't take any shit from anyone. <laughs> And over here we got Rachel. From Bungalore, India. <laughs> she doesn't even know how to play anything. She's what you call a decoration. <laughs> here we got Carrie. Bungalore, India's upset. We got Carrie. You can't see her. The sun's behind her. She's a spectator. Whoever wins, they get the booty prize of Carrie. She has to go home and do their dishes. Don't be thinking anything dirty. So here we go, folks. This is the World Championship of Yucca. It's going down. Be there. <laughs> We're down to one point. Team Annihilator with Babo and Deanna. All they need is one point to lock it in. Team Super Cool 
with Brittany and Rachel. They actually need quite a few points. They only have one. They need nine. Nine points. So this, folks, this could be it. This could be the championship of the universe, the point. Here we go. Oh, and they've done it! Bobble throws down a jack, jack, and queen. He only needed two hands, but he took three. And the winners are Team Annihilator, Bobo, <laughs> and Deanna Bear. <laughs> Deanna Bear. Like that. Like that. Deanna Bear. I'm not going to lie, we've been waiting for this damn game to get over forever <laughs> just to go on the boat. So I thought it'd be funny about it. What are they waiting for? Their dock. Oh. Oh, that's fancy over here. That's what? Carpos. That's what? Carpos. They're fancy. Well, they got a really nice boat. Yeah. Rachel. Okay. Push back to the cabin right now. You can't even like find it. So it doesn't look the same. Hi guys. Are you enjoying yourselves? Okay. Carrie's got a blanket in case she gets cold. Look at Deanna. Hi. Yeah, check out those jeans, girl. Sick jeans, bra. These are not gardening jeans. <laughs> You're knocking in a hole after you take on. Yeah, this did. water is absolutely beautiful. I wanted you guys to see it for a minute. Now I'm going to enjoy it with my friends and family here because I love them. Hi. Love you, man. All right, folks, it's a new day. Um, you... <laughs> oh, look, there's Deanna in the background. She looks so fancy. I'm okay. So here's the sitch, here's an update. The tent is down. Why, you may ask? Because it didn't work for me. I gave it a go. I gave it my all. I tried to do it. You can even ask Carrie. I'll kind of walk over to her real quick. <clears throat> My back hurts, can barely get up. That tent one, tiff zero. <clears throat> Go ahead and give that to you. So. Yeah, what happened to the, like six trash cans? How was the tent experience for you? It was fine for me. But you were freezing cold. I was cold, yes. Right. But I slept fine. I, on the other hand, did not. Had a hard time getting into the bed. Mm -hmm. Couldn't figure that part out. It's, yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah. At first. So that was our camping experience. No more camping for us. I will sleep on a chair or on the floor inside the cabin. But we did it. We gave it a go. So hopefully that encourages you guys to go out and just try something you may not be comfortable with. And yeah. So. Oh no. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Why would you wave? Tiffany was staring at me. Brittany has a, a little bit of a cold, which she at first thought was just sinus. And oh it God. turns out it might be a little cold. <laughs> so and the bump so on my head that I was praying was a mosquito bite is actually a zit. It's giant. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. This is the coolest thing ever. Our friend Deanna. She yeah, is selling wines for humanity. It it's really cool. Oh, this is Britter, no. obviously, not Deanna. Cheese! And, oh, we have a cheese plate, and we're going to taste a bunch of wines. And this company looks pretty neat. All of the proceeds go to whoever's the host. What did we call it earlier? It's like party light for wine. <laughs> Basically, but it's wine, so it's better. It's for charity. And it's for charity, so all the profits from your party, you get to pick a charity. And... 
<laughs> it's not all of them? No. Apparently, I don't know enough about this, but some money Sitting goes to a charity. To <laughs> oh, okay. You gotta wait. So Nine to twelve percent goes to a charity. So we're really excited about this. And yeah. How excited are you? I love wine. And cheese. So much. She loves wine and cheese. And you're so pretty. Oh, my up north, my up north face. You sure? Anyway, tell us about your love for cheese. I love cheese. I love all cheese but blue cheese. Sorry, it tastes like pencil shaving smell. So one night, Brittany had a little too much to drink. And we came back to our house. Are you getting cheese for everyone on this? And she's like. <laughs> I'm gonna make you guys a grilled cheese with cheese on top and sprinkled with cheese. No one else wanted to get up. And she didn't make it, but I really wanted to eat it. I have dipped um, a piece of cheese into queso dip. Ooh, that doesn't cheese on cheese. Yeah, cheese -ception. yeah. that doesn't. Yeah, that was amazing. What did you What did you call it? I'm sorry. Cheeseception. Say it again. Cheese. Deception. You are so pretty. I am literally <laughs> surrounded by gorgeous women. I got my love down here. I got I'm, in, I'm a Parker sandwich. <laughs> it does not get any better than this. <laughs> that smells a lot different, actually. <laughs> so take your it tongue. Smells, huh? It smells different when you do it that way. Right. It and does. Yeah. Your mouth open. Okay. And breathe through your nose. And breathe through my nose. It smells so much richer when you. Right? Oh my gosh. You can smell the different kinds of different things that are in it. So, you know, mm. with this one, Ooh, there are different so notes. So you press your tongue to the this roof of your mouth, notes of leave apples, your mouth open, and then pears, sniff. And some are fruits. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. wow. It, right. You it's really a get a, a nice aroma. Okay. So that's the second. The third S that's is so now swirl. Swirl. Yeah. swirl. The third Why S is swirl. To see the legs. What are the legs? Uh, the trail of bubbles. <laughs> I I honestly don't know. <laughs> I was gonna go with like the thickness. At so, least I'm guessing. Yes. Yeah. Yes and no. So the thickness of a wine is based well, on the alcohol content there? of a wine. Oh, okay. okay. So you when you crazy? swirl a wine, you watch the legs go down. The more well, legs you can see, the heftier it is like as a wine. The more alcohol is in it. So this one, based on the legs, how much wine, how much alcohol do you think is in this wine? So this is a young wine. It's about six months old. Right. On the first, there's five S's for wine drinking. Sight. So because you can see those trails, that's the swirl. alcohol swirl. into the glass, and then slowly and we going still have back two more. The wine. Oh, okay. You can see a lot of legs with this wine because it's a ten and a half percent alcohol content. Holy crap! <laughs> so that's why we swirl, so we can see. You know, when you're out at a party, you don't want to be that girl. So you kind of want to go. All right, how much should I? Well, hey, maybe I don't drink this very quickly then. Maybe I slow down. Right? Or maybe oh. I slam it. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on the party you're at. Yeah. So this is a little higher alcohol. Content. Um, and the last one. What was the fourth one? Is nope. sip. Well, I'm sorry. The fourth one is sip. Mm -hmm. Sip. So this is the part okay. where we actually drink it. Okay. Yeah, right. it would be. Okay. okay. Just go ahead and put it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't say stuff like that around me. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, that's this is, a yeah, drier. right. So it's a little drier, but it's still got that nice sweetness to it. Yeah. This is the wine, this mm. is the Alde Duca that actually made me okay with white. Oh, Recently, oh. I would not drink a white wine two well, I can't months ago. That. I thought white wine was gross and it tasted like pea, whatever pea and tastes paired like. And paired with the Gouda, right? Yeah, right. A Gouda oh, or do a we have Gouda? Yeah, we have Gouda. It's right there. Um, I have slice. a gal <laughs> who makes this amazing brie that she bakes with mm. apples and um, wraps it in like a pie crust. And she what makes do you think? it that way. So a baked brie with apples would be really good with this. But yeah, it's so a nice summer wine. Has a cold. It would be really like good this. with any citrus. I do not. Like I'm that. not a fan. It's too dry. It's a little too dry. I'm drinking it because it's wine, but it's too dry. Okay. Yeah, this would be great. So the last S. The last S. Here we go. Spit. Is a, well, it's supposed to be spit or swallow. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she Dirty said, girl. folks. So, what we say instead of that is savor. Oh, okay. so savor. It's the part where after you sip, you hold it in your mouth for a minute and kind <clears> of <throat> like figure out what all the flavors are, and then you spit it. Now, is that where, because I've been to a wine tasting where you put it in your mouth and you swish it all around mm -hmm. and you hold it in there for a while to get the flavors and then spit it? Mm -hmm. So, that's the last part. Or okay. swallow. Yeah. Or swallow, yes. Yeah, some people are wine connoisseurs and they've never actually swallowed any wine in their life. Ooh, oh, yeah. Object. To be a snob? I don't know. 
I'm gonna go with Snob, yeah. Right. Give me your bottle, baby. You yeah. Finish tasting and I'll Woo. Make yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. That was the five S's of wine drinking. Salud. The sixth one. <laughs> uh, nope. Definitely don't pronounce the D there. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> Yeah. No, yeah. there's yeah. no way that's correct. No, yes, it is. It's, it's salud. Is, Italian. is that real? Yes. I Help me. <laughs> Call Randy. You're going to have to ask either Randy or Janet. Do you really think the word is salu? It's salud. It's salud. It's absolutely one Salud. salud. Don't I mean, listen to her. Never heard anyone use the D. Listen, for the last five years, I've been with a lot of weird Italian people. So you what? I don't know. Salud. <laughs> Um, all right, guys. Wine tasting is over. Even though I only had an ounce of each, I feel like I ate a lot of wine. I had too much. Ow! You just punched me right in the face. So Rachel got creative to give herself little clues of which wine she liked and did not like. I know that you probably can't read this, so what I'm going to do is have Rachel send me a photo of it. But. Drink, make those orange yeah. One of the ones that oh, is my yeah. favorite is the Duca Bortini <laughs> Conteste Sedige. <laughs> she wrote popcorn oh, fart. Oh yeah, it's it? pretty dry. Yeah, um, that. Um, uh, yes. The Moscato, the sparkling, the frizzante. So, mm -hmm. mimosa. Thanks for watching oh, this yeah. segment. Yes. Yeah, and absolutely. now I feel like I need to take There's a nap. There's also one that oh, I didn't bring. Because because it's really popular. I have had from so much. It's called the LePage. It's a peach flavor. Oh my god. And yes. so much cheese. Yeah, and that's. I think the LaPage is only twenty two dollars a bottle. LaPage, yeah. Oh yeah, I just did it. Yeah, I've never done that in my life. Oh yeah. Yay! <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I was gonna try it earlier, but I didn't know. No, I've seen him do it on television. Those are fairly yeah. decent glasses if they can make that clear tone. Yeah. Oh really? yeah. I'm not just doing that. Mm -hmm. The cheap ones don't make a good tone. <laughs> Does it have to be warm? Because I noticed this was warm. So I did it with wine earlier. Yeah. Check out what Bobo just taught me. Okay, this is pretty much you have to have like a like a nice wine glass. Mm -hmm. Dip your finger. That's what she said. Just run it around the rim here. Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. Look at that. Look at that. This is what happens when you do wine tasting at 1 a.m. You can really nope, see the vibrations. <laughs> And, and watch this. Wiggy, 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 woo, <laughs> boo, boo, boo. We're playing the water glasses. Oh, are you? <laughs> She's doing the remix. Do the forks. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? You too can do this. Wine glass, water, wet finger, go. All right. So I'm here with Grams, and we're talking uh, quite arguably the best president ever, <laughs> and who was? Ronald Reagan. Yes. <laughs> and he was president from 1980 to 1988. Oh, man, I don't remember. I believe so. Yes, someone. Well, no, yes. I think that's right. Yes. Yeah. So what? Um, what was so intriguing that's about there, so. Mr. Reagan? Well, I. I'm keep <laughs> was it because he was an actor when he started out? He, well, or like before I he said, started he out, he was my hero when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, and I had scrapbooks of him. Why? Wow. Yeah. Why? Like, what made you so drawn toward him? Was I, he popular as an actor? Not that much, really. Really? No, but I just liked his looks. I liked his acting. And did you ever see? Um, oh dear, see. Forget both of his legs. Uh, <laughs> What was it? Oh. He had both of his legs? No, That's no. probably every movie. A doctor cut him off and then oh. he didn't have to. Oh. Oh. Ronald, oh. Ronald Reagan oh, movie? Awful. Anyone? Carrie? No, Google? That was awful. I can't think of the Carrie name phone? of the movie, no. though. I should know it. So he was in a movie where his legs uh, were both cut off? One of, the, one of his first ones, yeah. Okay. I just like the looks of them. You know how you get... You know, what's that? For oh, certain I people. I was in it for JGT back in the day, so I understand. No. I will... I will also disclose that I had a thing for Michael J. Fox, so I love the magazine that you have up there. Um, his when he was on uh, uh, Family uh, Ties, Family Ties, he was on. I did not read it yet, but I plan on before I go. It's good, yeah. So the conversation that we were having before I came over here was um, the reason I knew about uh, Ronald Reagan so much is because my mom's best friend was diagnosed with HIV in the early '80s. And I remember, for some reason, I've always put the two and two together that during Reagan's beginning of his pregnancy, pre pregnancy, wow, 
<laughs> what? He was for a long time. Yeah. yeah. He I really was. Eight, an eight year pregnancy. <laughs> but during no, his. Uh, memory, huh? <laughs> Uh, during the stint of his pregnant, er, Jesus. <laughs> this is why you don't do interviews with wine. Uh, his presidency, though, he didn't mention HIV till his second term, okay. supposedly. So that's what started this whole thing. And then I found out that you had a, a great appreciation for him. And I think that's neat because she got a little crush. that's my first pre That's again, I was. Uh, five years old when he was elected, and then at his second election, I was about nine. So it was a big part of my life learning about presidents. Mm -hmm. So right. I would also have to say he's my favorite president, regardless of his Republican or Democrat. Like, oh. just because he's that's the one I know, mm -hmm. you know? And he was so, uh, well, charismatic. But I've got a 8 by 10 colored picture of him, and it says on the bottom something about. Um, best wishes, Mary Ellen, or something. Our where's that? Where's that hanging? In with my family pictures. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a signed portrait of Michael J. Fox, it would be with the family photos. <laughs> we had a vicar, and when it, we were talking one day, and and uh, I said, "Oh, how I like you know Ronald so. Reagan," and he said he had to introduce him. At a deep, well, function or something, like a dinner, an event, yeah. or something. Okay. And uh, anyway, he sent away and got this picture for me. Yeah, a signed photo. A signed? So it's actually signed or stamped? Well, it looks like it's signed. But wow. You don't know. You don't know. Yet. I'm, I'm signed. sure it's signed. Yeah, yeah. You would have to. They they still do that. It looked like They'll it. put the president like a bunch of stuff in front of him for the sign. Yeah. They'll do it. Yeah. That is truly amazing. Yeah. So is there anything from his pre presidency that sticks out to you? I don't know. What is my fixation with Ronald Reagan being pregnant? <laughs> and sadly, he's even, passed on, so that's not even possible. I don't even so remember a lot of the things he did, but I just, really I just figured he did everything right. Okay. <laughs> you know? So correct me if I'm wrong. He was shot at... Yep. Oh, he was hit, actually wounded. He yeah. got wounded. Yeah. Did one of his um, secret servicemen? Did they jump in front of it too? Was that him? I don't think it was. I don't think it was secret servicemen. It was. Was it, it was his Brady. press secretary? Brady was his last name. Yeah. So yeah. he tried to jump in front. Did he pass? Well, I don't know if did he, he jumped in killed? front of it. He got shot too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I think it was a, there was a subsequent bill about Brady bill. Mm -hmm. the Brady Gun control. The Brady bill for. Yeah. So why were they trying to assassinate him? Does anyone remember? Because I do not. Hinkley, was that his name? I think it was Hinkley. John Hinkley Jr. or something like that? Yeah, Hinkley. Yeah. It was Hinkley, the one who was obsessed with Jodie Foster? What? I don't know if that's true. Uh, John Hinkley was, if you want to Google, he was completely obsessed with Jodie Foster. And he had photos of her everywhere. I believe that was Hinkley. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering now if that's not the same. If it's not, if the guy would try to assassinate Rachel, or Rachel. Reagan. See? <laughs> <laughs> we can't say Reagan or presidency. <laughs> but Rachel also was getting assassinated. Right. So during, during the Rachel pregnancy. Yep. <laughs> John Hinckley Jr. I think that's what it was. <clears throat> Could be wrong all yep. John War Warncock Hinckley Jr. is an American citizen who, on March 30th, 1981, attempted to assassinate U.S. President Ronald Reagan in Washington, D.C. He wounded Reagan with a bullet that ricocheted and hit him in the chest. So he didn't even hit him directly. No. He hit something else, which ricocheted and hit Reagan in the chest. And it still hit Reagan. Now, was Hinckley also the man who was obsessed with Jodie Foster? Is this the same Hinckley? I'm looking right now. That's what, I, I is it? Yeah, I believe really? so. We saw the play. Play called yes, Sassy. yep. Okay. Reported to have been driven Happy by an obsessive learn. fixation on Jodie Foster. He was found not guilty by reason of insanity and remained under institutional psychiatric care until September 2016. Yep. He's out now. He's, yeah. 2016. Yes. So a year He's ago. Out. He's out now. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Poor Jodie Foster. So any last words <laughs> about Reagan other than actually. he's charismatic and just... An all-around cool guy. My hero, yeah. Your hero? <laughs> and how, what do you lovingly refer to him as? Ronnie. Your Ronnie? My Ronnie. Like, like his wife does. 
Yeah. Like his wife. Like his wife. Yeah, like his wife. Yeah. Yes. Like his wife. Sadly, yeah. they're both passed on. Well, thank you so much for being in this segment of Graham Says, and uh, we definitely appreciate it. That needs to be an ongoing segment. Oh, it will be. It's cooking. There it is. Oh, Graham, it's a white Looks like a star that's Oh, moving. no. I lost the focus. Okay, you see it? There it is. Doug and I used to lay in his brother's yard to sit sometimes and we'd all play who could spot the little satellites. Really? Yep. It was a game you won for pride. <laughs> I suppose like, if we waved, they could see us? Hi! I don't think so. I like how we did. <laughs> Wait, Grammy. Thank you for your there. service. Um, no. <laughs> Bring us some, bug? bring us some space sand. I'm going to have to go. Did you really say bring us really some nice, space sand? Really nice. I did. Space rock. Really nice. It's fucking June bug. Did you find it again? Yeah. That's better. It like zooms out on it because. Are you recording it? That is so yeah. fast. I can't believe how fast that's moving. Carrie's yeah. recording it, so we'll have it. Oh, cool. Ron, how fast did you but say it zoomed, that was going? It doesn't uh, recognize it. Five miles per second. Oh, what? That's about how fast I moved away from that June bug. <laughs> and raises the track. <laughs> and it's gone. That was cool. That was, that was cool. really cool. Cuffs and cream puffs, look at that. That's funny. So we are here at Cops and Donuts. Yes, we are. It's one of our favorite places to stop whenever we come up this way. Mm -hmm. um, they have like the squealer, it's like a bacon, bacon, bacon maple donut. Yes. They have a huge gift shop. I'm gonna show you guys like walking in. Mm -hmm. Um, everything that they have in here, it's really neat. Uh, some cops bought the bakery, so they call it Cops and Donuts. It's yeah. pretty sweet. That's great. So yeah, you'll see some uh, really cool photos, and they, like I said, they have a huge gift shop, so if you're ever in the mm -hmm. area, buy Stop a shirt. In. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is actually going to conclude our vlog. Yes. Uh, we're done for the weekend, mega vlog. We're going to be heading home. We've had a great time. Mm -hmm. Lots of great stuff. We got to see the ISS satellite. Yeah, we did. Uh, we got to see loons. We got to go on the boat. We got to hang out with our friends and family. Mm -hmm. It's just been an amazing weekend. And we're really thankful that yeah. we had the opportunity to do it. That's so, so all right. Well, thanks for uh, hanging out with us for our mega vlog and our mega weekend. And I don't have anything else to say to you. <laughs> you have one thing left to say. Uh oh. Catch you on the flippity. All right, well thanks for watching us guys. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and as always, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Yeah, we really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, thanks again guys. Thanks so much. Catch you on the flippity.